What is good everybody? It is your boy Super Saiyan Cab back with the second part of the Xenoverse 2 character tier list on the channel. Now, one thing that's gonna be different about this part as opposed to the first one, the face cam, as you guys see, is not there. My face cam is giving me some issues as of right now. So we do not have it for this in particular video. I'm gonna try and fix it so we have it for future vids. But today, guys, we're gonna be continuing on the tier list that we started off on that video that we did like maybe a week ago at this time, something like that. And, and we made it about halfway through. So today we have the other half of the roster within Xenoverse 2 to get through and put within this tier list. So we're just gonna jump straight into it. No nonsense, no bullying around today. And the first character we got is Janemba. We already put in Majin Buu, Kaba, and then Demi Graw is not really a character that we're gonna put in this tier list because he really doesn't matter that much. But starting off with Janemba, guys, to me, Janemba, honestly, I, I, I've seen some people who really like Janemba, but personally, I just do not like the man. I do not like the way he moves. I don't like the way he vanishes. It's just something about the character that does not flow for me in particular. So I'm going to put him in the B rank. But again, I do know that there are some people that do really, really enjoy this character and can put in some absolute work with him at the same time. Just for me, though, I'd say that he's a B rank character for me. Now, I'm going to do the same thing with Evil Janemba really quick just to get out that out the way. But moving on to the man's Jiren. Jiren, without a doubt, is an A-ranked character, a high-ranked, a high A-ranked character at that just because of all the little advantages he has. I mean, he has an XY um, invincible, not XY, he has an XY step cancel and an XX step cancel or a square triangle and a square square step cancel available to him on top of the fact that he has very very good stats he does decent damage i mean power rush is something that he does have in his arsenal as well even though in a high higher competitive play you don't have all the greatest opportunities to use that but still the man just all around is very very good then you take into account the step cancels and things like that that he has his back hit all that he is definitely a high a rank character in my opinion now moving on to kefla guys kefla is a character i could understand if someone was to put into the high b or the low a category i'm gonna say that she's a low a for me she has decent damage decent stats all around um decent reach as well she's just an all-around pretty good character with a good amount of stamina um and things in that category so i'd say she's a low a rank character in my opinion but i could understand if someone was to say that she's a high b rank character in their opinion as well now moving on to my man's krillin krillin honestly he he he's like a b plus potential a minus with the with the mentor update mentor krillin is actually very very good the one major issue mentor krillin has though is his reach besides that he definitely is good i would not say he's as good as kid gohan the mentor version but he's definitely a little bit behind him so i'd say that he's a b plus to an a minus rank character either or definitely works for me when you consider the mentor version and take into account after the dlc 9 update now moving on to the man's mirror i'd say mirror is a somewhat slept on character he's not the most fun character in the world because of his moveset things like that but he's honestly very nice the man's got the uh, good enough stamina he does good damage um so so to me all around he's just a very nice character a fairly nice character nothing spectacular but at the same time definitely a character that is heavily slept and i don't even feel that he slept and i just feel that nobody really uses him because his moveset is just so basic now we're gonna put the um the evil version of mira in this, into the same category now moving on to nappa nappa with the mentor update i'd i'd say he's a b rank character i know most of the mentors are very very good without doubt but nappa is still someone that i just do not enjoy using the most with his combos are very slow his movement is very slow things like that like he's not a bad character at all like i said any mentor in this game at this point in time you can definitely put up a fight with but at the same time nappa is just not someone that i truly enjoy using and have fun with just because of how slow he actually is now moving on to the girl ribrian sadly but truly she's she's an a-rank character y'all like this character is honestly very very good you know, uh, she's highly, highly slept on, and there's only one reason as to why she's highly slept on, and that's because of the simple fact of she is Ribri. <laughs> that, that's the only reason that this character was slept on. If this character had any different face, I mean, if she looked like yeah, so, just anybody, if she looked like a rock, 
she would get more play time than she does as of right now because again nobody really likes her being like that there are some people who do but for those who have actually used her you have found out that this character within xenoverse 2 at the very least is definitely fairly good so i'm gonna put her into that a rank without a doubt and now moving on to the man super saiyan blue evolution vegeta another character that without a doubt goes into the a rank i mean the man if, if he had some more things in terms like iframes stuff like that he may have consideration for the s rank but right now with all, all that stuff you know i definitely put him as an a rank character he has all around good stats very very good stamina very very good i mean man man's got 10 bars of key absolutely insane does decent damage when it comes to the basic combos not the most damage in the world but definitely decent damage at the same time and then has a fairly good move set as well so i'd put that vegeta as a high a rank character definitely the second best vegeta within the game in my opinion now the first and number one ranked vegeta in my opinion goes into that s rank this man super saiyan god vegeta is something else guys literally the only character in the game that has those timing combos where if you time that last input correctly you actually get additional damage put out with him as well and he already has high basic damage like some of his combos are coming in at like 9,000 damage or something like that and that's just the basic part nothing special no super or anything like that afterwards just the actual combo you're getting around like 9,000 some damage with some of them which is just absolutely insane and again something that's only really exclusive to him now his stats and all that like he has almost 10 bars of stamina has over two bars of health all those other things are still uh, fairly good about him, but the simple fact that his combo game is so insane is the one reason why I have him in that S rank. Now, moving on to the man's Nail. Nail, Nail, I, I really don't like Nail, but I know he's not a terrible, terrible character. I wouldn't say he's a C rank, if anything, a C plus to a B minus, in my opinion. Like I said, he's not a terrible, terrible character, but still not a great character at the same time now moving on to baby girl pan pan is highly slept on especially the mentor version i'd say pan is a b plus rated character and if you really 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 enjoy just pan with you know verse 2 i can understand why you may even say she is an a rank character her mentor version honestly is very very good the move set choices are uh, fairly decent her stats of course like every other mentor are good all around so again the mentor version without doubt is very good the only thing that you lack with this character again just like all other short characters is that reach so moving on to piccolo guys piccolo in my opinion without a doubt is an a rank especially when you're not even taking into account the mentor version and you're just looking at the last preset or the second to last preset of regular piccolo the man's is absolutely amazing one of the more slept on characters within the game it's like maybe some people see the first preset or the second preset of piccolo and like oh he's ass but if you keep going down the presets you see that that's last one or second to last one again i don't know which one exactly but one of those presets is absolute fire man's has like eight and a half bars of stamina has very very good basic damage has a good amount of health um so like all around on that preset it's just very very good and one of the more slept on characters within the game in my opinion now moving on to ranger 17 automatically goes into the b rank why because of the simple fact that his combos do not work uh, fully online if his combos were to work online i would definitely consider putting my mans up in that a rank but the fact that his combos do not work it's a big hindrance to him and it really sucks because the combos that don't work could be some of the more damaging combos within the game but sadly that is not the or sadly they just do not work online so we got to put the mans in that b rank now moving on to my man's Raditz. Raditz with the mentor version is another one where I could see as an A minus or a B plus. Either or works for me, guys. This character with the mentor version is very good. The damage output is fairly good, coming around almost 6K in total with damages with combos alone, no moves used or anything like that. So again, to me, Raditz, when you take into account the mentor version, definitely a B plus to a A minus character within Xenoverse 2. Now the man's Raccoon, ah, uh, he's... I'm gonna put him in the C rank. Just I, I know he can be a little bit saucy. He's not as bad as Gudo or or like Jace in my opinion. 
but the fact that he is so slow at the same time with him being you know having not the best stats in the world i definitely am going to put him in the c rank category like i said he is a somewhat fun character to use like i uh, did the all uh ganyu tournament or a raccoon tournament one time long long time ago when those world tournaments start started first going on as far as the character themed ones and it was a fun tournament no doubt but at the same time it, the reason i was working is because everybody was using raccoon so overall i definitely say raccoon is a c rank character now moving on to super 17 super 17 to me is a b rank character at best guys i really don't like this character the only reason i'm putting him in the b rank is because he's a character you can still put up a fight with without a doubt you have i mean like eight and eight or nine bars of stamina something like that um, you got decent amount of health. The only thing I don't really like about him is his combos. His combos are really, really whack in my opinion. They don't do the most damage in the world. And then his moveset ain't that great either. So I definitely would put him in the B category without a doubt. Now moving on to Baby. Baby is another B category character in my opinion. B plus, I'd probably say. The character's damage just honestly is not there for me. As far as his combos go, his combo damage is fairly low. The one thing that's really, really good about him is when you do get into a tight situation, all of his moves just become absolutely insane. You can make some great comebacks with this character, but at the same time, not a character that I would put into that A rank. A character I would say is probably in that mid B to maybe B plus rank for sure. Now, moving on to the next character we, we have... Shenron is a I, I can't really talk this is the one character that I really have not used like that um we're gonna put him in the never used category there's only one character that I've really never used on Xenoverse 2 and that is that man Omega Shenron so I can't really talk on him as far as where I would put him in the um tier system or the tier list but I know a lot of people at the same time said that he's not that great of a character anyways but moving on to the Shenrons, both Ice and Nova. I'm honestly, man, these are two of the more slept on characters in the game, in my opinion, especially Ice Shenron. Now, Nova Shenron has that broken nonsense of a combo, but Ice Shenron is just all around a good character. Like, the man has very good stamina, has good damage with his combos, and his moveset is not bad. Yes, a lot of it freezes you, but if used correctly, his moveset is actually fairly nice. So, to me, he's one of the more stepped on characters within the game, and so is his, um, his brother, Nova Shenron. This is another character that I feel is fairly good. The only thing about this character is he doesn't have the most stamina in the world, but then again, when you're talking on a character in tier list you got to take into account some things that they do have in their arsenal and he does have that infinite loop in his arsenal with his heavy combo if you utilize it correctly so again with those things in consideration i definitely put both of these into the a tier now moving on to lord slug this is a character i've only used like two or three times and i absolutely had a terrible time with him so he's automatically going into that c rank for me just the character that i just really did not enjoy playing at all at any point in time when i did use him i just found him very slow the combos didn't feel like they're doing the most damage in the world so again to me uh lord slug is definitely within that c rank now hercule hercule is a confusing one hercule can range all the way from here to all the way up here it literally depends on how good you are with this man he can be an a rank character he can be a d rank character if you know what you're doing with hercule your hercule can be absolutely devastating and very very annoying at the same time but if you do not know what you're doing with hercule you're gonna end up down here with the squishies in terms of just how bad he is as a character if you don't know the uh combos and things his frames all things like that so again man Hercule can range anywhere from A to D rank. It really just depends on the user. He's like the only character in the game that mainly depends on the user where he was ranked on this list. Now, moving on to Turles, guys. Turles? Turles is a character with the mentor version that you can definitely put into the A rank. Um, I could definitely see him being an A rank character at this point in time. I mean, the man's with all mentor versions of characters, they all have at least, at the very least, their worst preset includes eight and a half bars of stamina decent um damage output like two and a half bars of health and like five or six bars of key and with that preset i believe turles is doing damage somewhere in the category of like five six k a combo so again to me turles is definitely a a rank character with the mentor version without the mentor version i would definitely not have him up there now moving on to my man's gogeta blue gogeta blue is a tough one one that can be in the a tier one that could be in the s tier um Ah, ah, I'm gonna go with the S 
tier just because of all the stuff the man's has in his arsenal on top of the fact that of course anybody in the s tier has to have pretty amazing stats the man's almost has 10 bars of stamina has well over two bars of health the basic damage is there the only character that doesn't have insane stats is ui goku in this s tier but everybody knows why he's up there because of the damage the way they reworked him made his stamina uh like a normal person's made his defense like a normal person's all things like that go into account as why he is definitely in that s rank as well but keeping this moving on to full power broly um full power broly without a question is an a rank character the character is just good all around then you take into account things like his grab reach stuff like that his move set with the super armor definitely a a rank character without a doubt moving on to toa guys toa with the uh bikini version in my opinion is a b rank character um as well character honestly is very very decent at not what i was gonna say very very good but her bikini version is very very decent a character that you can put in work with but not one that is one of the better ones tapion guys tapion was a huge disappointment he's someone that if you want to throw into the c category the c rank i could understand why you do but i'm gonna put him into the b rank um honestly the only reason that he's in the b rank for me is just because i love this man's as a character this man's uh, he has a lot of issues he's a character that if you know you're one of those people out there because there's a lot of people who just don't like the key cancel and stuff like that tapion is not a character you can use if you do not key cancel with this man you are going to lose each and every single match he has some of the longest end frames as far as his combos go within the game he doesn't have the most damage for his combos in the world a lot of his combos put your opponent into like infinite type loops as far as how fast they get their stamina back but it's not an infinite combo at all it's just his regular combo and that's the kind of thing that happens when with his combos it's very very weird and dumb i don't know why they did that but that is why i have tapion coming in basically as a c rank but i'm gonna put him in the b rank because it's tapion and i love him as a character now trunks to me without question guys moving on is definitely an a rank character i'm gonna put both trunks into that a rank right here because both of them are very very good characters yes they look a little bit different but they pretty much have the same combos some of the same moves and trunks's combos are without a doubt absolutely amazing he has very very good damage on them and of course when you take into account the best presets of these they're without a doubt a a rank without question i mean everybody used to use trunks honestly when the game first came out and there was good reason to it one because everybody loved trunks and two because he was honestly a fairly good character now moving on though to kid trunks guys kid trunks is a character in my opinion that is a little bit slept on definitely better than goten without a doubt within this game especially when you use that yellow hoodie preset that's my favorite one for him you get a good amount of stamina eight bars a little bit over eight bars you don't have the most damage in the world but once you go super saiyan it makes up for that damage factor to where you're still doing fairly decent damage with your combos and moves and stuff like that so to me again trunks is a b rank character um if he had better reach he honestly might even be a higher uh, higher on this list but due to that reach of him being a child and stuff like that, that is why he is a B rank in my opinion. Because again, his stats and stuff are definitely very good in my opinion as well. But moving on, we got the three-eyed bastard in Tien. Tien, when you take into account the mentor version, if you are someone who really, really likes Tien, I can understand why you would say A rank. But I'm going to put him in the B rank. The mentor version of Tien, without a doubt, is definitely, definitely very good. I'm just not a fan of his combos within the game, the way they are and things like that. So again, to me, I'm going to put him into that B rank. Now, Videl and Great Sandman, um, I'm going to put both of them into the B rank. Both of these characters are honestly fairly good and a little bit slept on from the beginning of the game. You know, a lot of people thought it was just Videl and how good she could she possibly be. But she's actually nice, especially the Great Sandman one. The Great Sandwoman one is very, very good as well. The moves with uh, her preset on that one is very, very good. So definitely a B rank character without a doubt. Now, moving on to Vados, guys. Vados... And, uh, definitely not as good as Whis. Not even close, in my opinion. Especially when you consider mentor version. The mentor version of Whis just absolutely takes a massive dump on Vados. But I'll put Vados in the B rank. Definitely not a C rank character at all. But definitely not an A rank character at the same time. So I would put her in the B rank. She's just kind of average all around, in my opinion. And her moveset, while it is unique and cool, it's not the best in the world at the same time. Now, moving on to my man Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I would not say Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is as good as Blue Evolution or Blue Vegeta. But at the same time, still a very, very good character. Was the best Vegeta in the game until Blue Vegeta got that first um, 
um extra preset which was just much better than his original and then now with blue evolution and god vegeta coming along sadly super saiyan 4 is the fourth best vegeta in the game but still he is a very very good character again like i said he was the most used and probably the best before all these other vegetas came out and that uh super saiyan blue preset came as well he's just a very very good character all around i like the combo switch up as well that he gets from all the other vegetas um i honestly liked this vegeta's combos a lot more at the beginning of the game but as i learned more and more about the regular vegeta's combos obviously his combos are absolutely devastating but again super saiyan 4 vegeta without a doubt in my opinion goes into that a rank now moving on to regular vegeta guys this is taking into account all base forms i'm gonna put regular vegeta in the b rank from what i remember all of his base forms do not have the greatest stats they're a lot more similar to like that first super saiyan blue preset of of super saiyan blue vegeta and that preset is definitely a b rank and again for the most part all the regular presets of vegeta aren't that good from what i remember so i'm gonna definitely put that man in the b rank as well now moving on to blue vegeto guys blue vegeto he just doesn't have enough of the exploits i guess you could say or things like that to really put him into that s rank there's nothing that's like exceedingly making him special in any way shape or form he's just all around great as a character he's definitely a high high a tier character but not someone i would put into that s tier um without a doubt now moving on to the man's regular vegeto regular vegeto again another character that is just very very good good all around without a doubt a a rank character in my opinion now we only have a couple of characters left to get through on this tier list and the first one we got is the man's Weiss. Honestly, the man's Weiss, he's, when you take into account the Mentor one, he's an s rank character, guys. Not only does he have absolutely amazing stats with the Mentor preset combo type C, but then also, I mean, if you want to take into account, he does have some of the cheesier super souls in the game on these Mentor presets as well. So not only is he doing insane damage and he's just an all-around amazing character without the super soul but then you add in these super souls that he does have he is without a doubt an s rank character even without those super souls he might be an s rank character in my opinion the reach on the man is absolutely insane the damage is literally out of this world so Whis again is an absolutely amazing character when you take the mentor version now moving on to the man's yamcha guys this one's gonna come as a shock but Yamcha honestly isn't a ranked character in my opinion after the update. The Mentor version, he's another one that has that combo type C where he's coming in with 9.5 bars of stamina, almost 2.5 bars of health, and like 6 bars of key. And then the basic damage is absolutely insane. I believe some of his combos are doing over 6k damage. And this is Yamcha we are talking about. Just regular combos, no moves afterwards. 6k damage, guys. So again, to me, the Mentor version of Yamcha definitely goes into that A tier. Now, the evil version of Yamcha is honestly worse than the mentor version now, so I'm going to put the evil version into the B tier. The evil version used to be better than the regular version. Since it was updated, the mentor is by far better than this evil Yamcha without a doubt. Now, moving on to Zarbon, guys. Zarbon is a character that I would have put in the C rank, the C category, but he's like the Doria. Both of these characters, to me, are C rank categories characters but when you take into account the mentor versions when you have that good of stats and stuff like that you have enough just to kind of get by at the very least so without a doubt i would put him into that b rank now moving on to merge zamasu merge zamasu is an a rank character he's a character unlike any other within the game in terms of his combos are literally unbanishable that is without a doubt the main reason he's in this a rank like honestly he can be one of the more annoying characters within this game it's not like his stats or anything like that are amazing or great in any way the man literally has like six bars of stamina um the health is fairly decent key is fairly decent but those aren't the bigger things when it comes to xenoverse usually in fights the stamina game is the most important thing and he only has six bars in that category and he doesn't do like the most most damage in the world he does decent damage with his combos and things like that but due to that all that unbanishable stuff that he does have without a doubt a a rank character in my opinion now moving on to the last character on this list guys we got regular zamasu and regular zamasu with the mentor version again is definitely a a rank character man all mentor presets like i said in part one of this part two uh video this tier list like i said all the mentors guys are very very good very very viable characters at this point in the game literally the worst or one of the presets that all of them have the normal base preset comes with eight and a half bars of stamina six bars or six or five bars of key and two and a half bars of health 
that is absolutely amazing stats especially for some of the characters that are actually mentors like characters like gohan kid gohan krillin these characters take major major step ups from their regular versions with these mentors because their stats are just that much better and the same thing goes for zamasu as well so that is why i have the man's nba rank category but guys this is the official tier list coming in from your boy for the most part i would hope that things are you know somewhat the same slash similar i know there's gonna be differences in everybody's um tier list but again for the most part i would hope that they are very very similar and close to each other and that everybody can understand why i placed each and every single character in these certain categories that i did or certain tiers that i did as well so let me know what you guys think about the tier list now that you guys see it this is my full-on completed tier list um let me know what you guys think about it again down below in the comments the characters that i feel are the best in the game as of right now definitely go to bardock final form cooler super gogeta a uh, few super sam blue goku ui goku the man's hit of course without a doubt then we got uh super saiyan god vegeta gogeta blue and Whis. all those characters i do feel are the best ones in the game but all characters in the a rank can definitely compete with them it just comes down to the user at that point in time but again man let me know what you guys think about this tier list down below again if you want to make your own tier list i said in the first video but i'll say it again here the tier list maker will be linked down below in the description for you guys along with my twitter so if you want to make your own tier list along with sending it to me on twitter my twitter will be linked down below in the description as well but as always man thank you guys so much for watching really really hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time hope you guys have a good day peace y'all